Hi everyone, it's Mel. I have some tags to share with you. On Thursday when I went to the Hobbycraft show at the NEC in Birmingham, I bought the Tim Holtz Blueprint Christmas stamps. This is the set here. So you've got a snowflake, you've got a Christmas tree, you've got the Nutcracker soldier, and then over here you've got a snowman. And so what I've done is I've made four different tags using these stamps and then these are going to be our Christmas card stroke tags for our family and friends this year. So I'll start off with this one here. This is the snowflake tag and I've used pretty much the same techniques to make all of these tags so I'll briefly explain to you how I've gone about it. All the tags are made from chipboard. I've taken some white cardstock and I've used some of my new Tim Holtz distress stains. So here we've got tumbled glass and brushed pewter. So I put those onto my craft mat and then ran my tag through them until I was happy with the colour and then I heat set it and then I ran it through my um, snowflake cuttle bug folder. Um, stuck that down to my chipboard and I took some white cheesecloth material and then I made my own background stamp, or my own background paper, should I say. I'm using pretty much the same method apart from I used um, paper rather than chipboard. And it's slightly darker blue. I used one of the Tim Holtz Distress Stains just to make it slightly darker. And then I use archival ink and stamp my image on there. Mounted it onto 3D foam. And then here we've got one of the new dies from Tim Holtz. It's this one here. Um, it is called Snowflake Rosette. So um, I made that out of white cardstock and I took some um, glitter. Um, I think it's called Twinklets I think it's called and I've just put that around the edges of all the points. In the middle we've got a flat back pearl and a buckle slider and that's been stuck on there. Down here we've got some white lace and then some white beaded um, teardrop trim which my friend Carol sent me in a rack. So thank you very much Carol. Um, up here I dyed my own seam binding using the tumble glass distress stain and then I've just got two charms. I've got one that says wish and then the other one is a silver snowflake and I've used Tim Holtz jump rings. And then I've spritzed everything with um, pearl glimmer mist just to give it a bit of shine. So that was the first one. This is my second one. Um, this is using obviously the Christmas tree stamp. Um, use the same techniques for the background, different embossing folder. This is one that's got script because I didn't really have anything else suitable. Um, and the colours I used for this particular tag. Um, on the metallics I used tarnish brass. The red is fired brick and then the green is the peeled paint. So same technique um, and then I've just used some corrugated card and I've run over the card with the tarnish brass. Um, same, well, for the Christmas tree background I didn't obviously use the fire brick, I just used the brass and the peel paint. Stamped my image using archival ink again, popped it up onto three um, foam, 3D foam dots and I've used one of my um, Sizzix dies to cut the banner and I've sentiment stamps as I'm dreaming of a white Christmas and I've had that sentiment stamp for quite a long time, several years. Um, that's also on 3D foam dot. Then again, dyed my own seam binding and this time I've used a Christmas tree charm and one of the um, little, I forgot what I just called them, but in any case that ring to hold the charm on. So that was the Christmas tree one. Back to the blue and silver colour combination. Um, pretty much the same um, colours and everything um, for the snowflake apart from um, I've used white seam binding and have made a blue snowflake so it, it's actually alternate colours to 
the snowman. So that's that. Um, yeah, so not really much to say apart from um, just it's a change of colours on that one. So that's that one. And then last but not least we have the Nutcracker. Um, I've used green pill paint um, on the corrugated card there. And then I've used a different stamp. I've put Santa's come into town. Um, and my own seam binding again and then this one's got a snowflake as a charm um, this is actually going to my husband's great nephew um, so that's why I've got Santa's coming to town on that one I perhaps won't be making so many of the Nutcracker ones because I, I think that's more for a child that particular stamp so um, yeah so there they are my uh, Christmas tags using the Tim Holtz Christmas blueprint Stamps, I hope you like them. Please leave me a comment and thank you for watching.